I am just uh, basically getting ready here, um, getting my uh, notes on the page and everything. But uh, yeah, we're gonna make this a little bit quick right here. Uh, this blog is called Forceful Change. I've had this in my phone for a minute. Um, I just posted it uh, Thursday, March 18th, 2010. And it goes like this. God doesn't make this place the way it is. We do. Some people wonder why God doesn't do anything. But it's not him that doesn't do anything, it's us. We think simply because we want positive change that it will happen. No. We think because we say the words, Jesus is Lord, or some positive new age statement that things will start to look up, and it will not. The same way sick, corrupted, and selfish people put plans into action to change the world, that is the same way we must. Those who are unselfish, selfless, and caring, that's what I mean by we. Nothing typically comes for free. Religious people want us to sit around and wait, to hold on and be strong, but this world gets worse because we allow it. Remember Matthew chapter 16 verse 19 and Matthew 18 verse 18? Whatever we bind on earth, we bind in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth, we loose in heaven. So I'm thinking, heaven may not be looking so good. We don't punish sin as a society or even as a church. As a society, we have so many unrealistic laws it's impossible to uphold them. So therefore, we leave it in the hands of those who are typically prejudiced to seeds. In most churches, if you bring in the tithe, or if you bring in people, your sins are basically overlooked. And I'll say this again, yes it is a bold statement, and I have no proof, but nonetheless, I feel as though 60 to 80% of pastors, clergy, rabbi, etc. have no calling and no right to be in their positions. Let's be clear, you can have a thriving church without it being spiritually alive or truthful. Forceful change to me is purposely doing things that either immediately create change or that create ripple effects of change. Most of the world is good at creating ripple effects, and most of those waves make things worse. For instance, a video I saw some time ago uh, which exampled exactly what I'm speaking of. This video had a family whose race I'll omit, who was having some kind of birthday party or a celebration, um, and kids as young as probably five years old or who knows how young, uh, up to 16 years old or even older, were quote unquote dancing. But it was more like a clothed orgy. Another example is one of a personal friend who, when he was younger, his father came into his room and pretty much threw a pack of condoms at him and said, play the game before the game plays you. These are perfect examples of ripple effects. If you're doing these things with your own children, almost all of us can agree that their influence on others, meaning your kids' influence on others, will be worse. So let's make some forceful, positive change.